welcome to you all. I am Dr. Etienne Gauci from the Department of Geography at the University of Malta. And today I would like to talk to you about the natural environment of the Maltese Islands, also known as the country of Malta. The Maltese Islands are a group of islands situated in central Mediterranean at approximately 90 kilometers from Sicily. They are a group of three main islands, Malta, Gozo and Comino, and another group of uninhabited small islands surrounding the archipelago. The total land area of the Maltese island is approximately 316 km squared. Although small, the Maltese islands exhibit a wide range of geomorphological landscapes and geological features, which make this group of islands an interesting open-air laboratory. The climate of the Maltese island is typically considered as a Mediterranean climate with a warm, dry summer and a mild, wet winters. Rainfall does not usually exceed over 500 or 530 millimeters per year, whereas temperatures are always of a range between 12 to 26 degrees Celsius. Most of the rain falls during the winter months between October and March, whereas most of the high temperatures are mostly experienced in summer. Temperatures never fall below zero and very rarely, therefore, we do get snow. The geology of the Maltese Islands mainly consists of limestone and marsh. They are mostly characterized by five main layers, with the coralline limestones capping the bottom and the upper part of the stratigraphy, whereas in the middle of the stratigraphy we then have the Globigerina limestone, which is considered to be an important limestone for our building purposes, especially the lower Globigerina limestone, and then we have a sequence of blue clays and a thin strata of green sand. These uh, layers are all very important in also then characterizing the landscape and landforms of the Maltese Islands, depending where they are situated, especially if they are inland or they're found on the coast. The Maltese Islands, even though they are small, have a low relief, have no mountains, they are, however, characterized by a diverse range of geomorphological and geological landscapes. Some of the most spectacular landscapes tend to be found on the coast. For example, the lower coralline limestone tends to develop sheer vertical cliff faces on the west and south of the islands. Whereas on the northwest of the island, we tend to have spectacular scree slopes, which have developed as a result of the whole sequence from the upper coralline limestone all the way down to the blue clay and globigerina limestone formations. Another factor that conditions the landscape of the Maltese islands are the faulting systems that pass through the islands and which create a system of valleys and ridges and which eventually also then characterize the headlands and bays found across the whole island. It is therefore for this reason that the tectonic structure and the geology are a very important component in the landscape formations of the Maltese islands. The Maltese soil tend to be classified into three main types of soil, with the most well-developed and mature one being considered as the red soils or the terra rossa. The other two soils are less mature than the red soils and are considered to have a high calcium carbonate content and tend to be also low in organic matter. And these are specifically the carbonate rossoils and the xerorenzinas. It is thought that before humans settled on the Maltese islands, the archipelago was extensively covered by the Mediterranean sclerophyll forest. Today, most of the vegetation community that makes up the Maltese island consists of maquis communities, which are low scrubland communities as a result of the woodland degradation, and also, more extensively than that, the Garik community, which consists of rocky scrubland that mostly make up the karstic plateaus of the Maltese islands. <laughs>